Hey there, so in today's video I will show you how to set up the ZW OAC Air with the Skywatcher GTI mount. Okay, so I want to waste as little time as possible. So all I've done so far is uh, to do the focus on Polaris and I got it uh, centered uh, in my frame and the first thing that we need to do is uh, a star element in the Silscan app and I'll try to make a screen record so you can see uh, clearly what I'm doing go to settings Wi-Fi select the Silscan app hit no Now here let me mention that a two star alignment is enough. So I'm going to pick Rigel and Caster. Begin the alignment. Okay, so our alignment is done, now we have to go to settings, go, oops. go to Wi-Fi settings, modify station, let's enable it, and the Wi-Fi connection is written on your AC Air. And this is the only thing that will vary from uh, unit to unit. Okay, that's done. Now the password is 1 to 8. Let's enable this. Set the IP address. That's it. Now hit apply. done now we can power up the AC air go back to your Wi-Fi settings and select your AC air Wi-Fi Hit those three dots, go to your mount, and from here select the EQ mode mount. Now if this is the first time you're setting everything up, uh, make sure that the IP address is correct and the port number, which is 11880, then let's just connect it. Okay, now we are connected. And let me just mention that the IC Air uh, app is actually quite complex. So you might have uh, some issues uh, the first few times you are trying to run it. So I would recommend you to make a few uh, dry runs uh, during the day uh, in your house because it's the same as uh, some of the programs uh, on your uh, PC. The processor has to figure out uh, how everything works. So uh, after you will use it a few times, uh, the app will get uh, quite a bit smoother. Okay, so now I'm going to sync the location to the mount. Now let's go to the home position. So now we are going to do the polar alignment. Hit the preview button and select PA. I'm going to set the exposure to 2 seconds and take my first exposure now the app will solve press 
this next. Now the mount will tilt about uh, 90 degrees. Around 60 degrees. <laughs> and take another shot. Okay, then let's go. And the app clearly shows you the way you need to correct uh, the mount. Hit the refresh. So I won't spend too much time on perfecting the polar element tonight because I just uh, really want to show you how everything works but uh, you should really take your time with this. Okay, so that's fine, so I'll accept, hit finish. Okay, I'm going to hit the three dots again. Go to home position. Okay, so the battery on my cannon is just about to die, so I'm going to switch it. Okay, now let's go back to preview and select the target. Let's go for the Orion Nebula. Let's choose. Go to. Or maybe I should turn off the laser. to set the preview exposure to 5 seconds I need to connect my camera back okay Okay, now let's hit plate solve. Now it's going to solve the image. Select sync and go to. Now the mount is going to adjust. Let's take one more image. Hit plate solve again. Again, sync can go too. Now the mount moved uh, very little, but I'm going to take another exposure. Let me put on the crosshair. We can see that uh, only after two plate solves, uh, the Orion Nebula is dead in the center. So now let's go to guiding. I 
I'm going to clear my calibration. Clear. Set the repeat button. I got my exposure set to one second. Hit the crosshairs. Now the guiding will calibrate and this will take a minute or two. And uh, I'm not expecting my guiding to be uh, very smooth since I didn't take uh, enough time to do uh, a good uh, polar alignment. But uh, I hope that uh, this will work for the, for the purpose of the video. Okay, and we are guiding. So let me go back here. I'm going to hide this. Now hit the preview button again. And I'm going to select auto run. And here you can just uh, set up uh, your exposures. And what I really like about it is after you're done your sequence, uh, you can set the home position uh, and uh, to shut down the AC air. So if you are trying to be uh, automated, uh, I think that uh, that's a great option to have here. But I already got my sequence set up, so I'm going to take a 300 second exposures and make uh, 20 of those images. Hit OK. And take my first image. Okay, now I think that this uh, covers everything to get you started. But if you have any questions, please just uh, let me know in the comments. And I would like to thank you for watching and see you again next time. Take care. Bye. Don't, don't